was responsible for the hospital losing the certification? The deficiencies span uh, from 2011 to 2014. The survey that was conducted was a full hospital-wide survey, and the finding that was we were told was to be reflected in the report was supposed to be what was found on site during this, the survey. CMS has um, informed us that the report will be available um, the 25th, the 24th or the 25th of September. So you don't have that full, this is not my second question, so you don't have that full report yet? We do have the, the report, but uh, CMS will make that report available to, to the public on that date. Um, Anthony Weeks, Kalalu, could you give us a distinction between certification and accreditation? And if it's not like an accreditation issue, how will the decertification impact the accreditation issue? In in order to be accredited, you have to be certified by CMS. An accreditation agency has what is called deem status with CMS, meaning that CMS is deeming that their findings are consistent with the and support the conditions of participation in the Medicare, Medicaid program. So in order to be accredited, you would first have to be CMS certified. Does that, does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Given a worst case scenario, given that, not even a worst case scenario, if CMS simply does not agree that they, uh, they, they feel that they are correct, while well, you're saying that they are mistaken, and this order that is in place now is not reversed. What happens? Does the hospital cease to be able to make payroll? What is the, do they stop accepting uh, car crash victims and they end up on the curb? I mean, what is the worst, yes. what is what could happen? Very good question. Um, again, we will be appealing this decision. Um, I have my reservations about what was included in the report. The hospital will not shut down. The hospital will not close. We will continue operations as is because we have a mandate to provide care for all, regardless of ability to pay. Now, we have been in discussion with the policymakers in government, including the governor's office, the, the governor himself, the delegate to Congress, and the governor's of officers, as well as some members of the legislature, and how we can find funding to ensure smooth op operations through the next um, few months. Without funding, how does this impact the retention of medical doctors? That is something that we will have to um, e evaluate as the time pro progresses. Uh, this can have some ma major implications, but we just received this news uh, two days ago, so we're still in the process of looking at all the p potential ramifications of this decision. The, the hospital can still operate without CMS. It does not mean that Funding-wise, that is what we are in discussions with the government right now to determine how we will um, be able to get the necessary funds to, to keep operations going. Well, this, um, will this affect staff? Will, will there be staff layoffs? At this time, there is no intention for staff layoffs. We don't know that yet. That that is of concern. However, we will be make making contact with all of the insurers to discuss this one issue. With the speculation of, of a proposed merger, um, does this now put Wang Lui in the position where it has to merge with 
a merge as a territorial hospital instead of being independent? I, I think that the merger question is not one that can really be addressed at this time because each entity at, at this point has its own me Medicare number. And so that is an issue that will have to be addressed um, at okay. higher levels. Yes. Uh, your predecessor, uh, Jeff Nelson, uh, was hired specifically because he was a turnaround expert and had worked previously with a number of struggling institutions and was given a three-year term. But then he was let go before his contract was up uh, after uh, a number of his decisions were unpopular. Did his letting being let go either delay or hasten or have any effect whatsoever or on, the, on this action of CMS? This, um, his action, uh, predated my presence in, in this position, so I can't really speak to decisions that were made prior to that, prior to this time. Being that uh, CMS payments make about 50% of the hospital's revenue, are you getting from legisl um, people in legislation that the government is willing to bankroll the hospital up to 50%? We are right now in discussions with the government ab about that very issue. And mind you that it would not have to be for a long time, um, not, not for a year. We are talking about um, being able to reapply for if um, we, are, we are, are unsuccessful in our appeal, we are looking at 120 days in which we can reapply for, um, for participation again. Appropriation have been declining since 2008 where you were getting $38 million from the central government, you're now down to $17 million. Con considering in light of your current situation, realistically, how um, realistic is the, the federal government, I mean, I'm sorry, the central government and their financial predicament to be able to step in and help Wang Lui? I, I think that that is, again, a discussion that is ongoing. And at this time, I cannot really speak to how those funds are going to be reappropriated. To 2011, where we where we waived our rights for for appeal, that was for the survey at that time. So, as as you read in the letter, um, we have the right to to appeal now, and we and we will will appeal now. Funding does not stop prior to to October 9th. So, right now we are seeing patients up until October 9th, and we are bidding for, for those patients. So cash will not stop exactly on October 9th. Money will still be coming in from patients and services rendered uh, prior to, to October 9th. So we will begin to, to see the full effects of, of this, this, this certification around no November. And my question was how you can we are still in, still in discussions with the, with the government on how we are going to address that issue. Because, as I mentioned, and this is the same question, don't count, but it's all, but I mentioned it says you can start the appeal after the night, when it talks about the appeal process. Correct. So, how long, so we, how long we, we, we don't know how, how long the, the appeal process is. Um, we, we will be, be appealing. And one of the questions is if, I won't say if, I'll say when we win the appeal, do we retroactively get paid for all those patients that we served? And if that, if that is the case, then we will have monies coming in again. And I do, I feel very confident that we're going to get past this difficulty. Wait, this isn't the first time that uh, the hospital had issued with CMS. Why 
why do you believe now that they decided to make this move? Because I mean, you keep saying that there were issues, but you're not being very specific. Can you tell us why now they would decide to make this move? So it would be a little clearer. I think that um, when when the report comes out from CMS, um, that that will help help you further. What I can say is that I do not believe that we deserve this this certification, and I will have that feeling until the day I die. It is wrong. Okay, one more question before we wrap up for today's session. <coughs> Wednesday, um, once the, um, the CMS pulls out on the 9th, on October 10th, what should patients do what, you know, in terms of medical coverage? What does October 10th look like? That, that is an ex excellent quest question. Um, and uh, we need to inform the community, do not hesitate to come to the hospital because you think that you won't be able to be seen because you you can't pay. We will take care of you. We will continue services for every single person on this island. That will not stop. We have a mandate as as only a hospital on St. Croix to continue operations, and we intend to do that. We have to take care of every one of our patients. I want to know what the financial impact is on the hospital in the actual dollar cent number of patients with the same what, and how much the government this is all part of the same question. <laughs> how much the government is going to have to find for you all for things to keep going. We found out this decision two days ago. Give us some, some time to be able to, to dig and investigate. You guys haven't what, what I can tell you, what I can tell you now, is that the the potential financial implications is about thirteen million dollars for the next six months. Thank you. And 